Just as you use Eclipse to build Android apps, you use Visual Studio to build Windows Store apps. Let's take a look at Eclipse and Visual Studio together. When you start Eclipse, you see the welcome screen, which tells you how to create a new project. After you start Visual Studio, click New Project on the Start page. In Eclipse, to create a new project, you set some project options. In Visual Studio, you pick a project template. For this example, let's choose a Windows Store blank app project that uses C Sharp. Then set the project's name and location. Let's take a look at the Eclipse and Visual Studio development environments. Both of them have an area for managing project files, user interface design and coding, and controls and their properties. Let's build a simple app that uses the projects we just created. Drag a button onto the designer and change the button's ID and text. A text view was added by default, so let's reuse it, changing its ID and removing its text. In Visual Studio, drag a button from the toolbox onto the designer. Name the button and add some text to it. Do the same with the text block. Name it and remove its default text. Now, write the code that runs after the button is clicked. In Eclipse, here's the code that you'd write. In Visual Studio, click the button, show the list of available events, double-click the event, and write some code. Now, it's time to run the app. In Eclipse, click Run. In Visual Studio, on the Debug menu, click Start Debugging, or press F5. For Android, after the emulator starts, click the All Apps button, click the app's icon, and then click the button in the app itself. In Visual Studio, after the app starts, click the button. To quit the Android app, click the Home button or close the emulator. In Visual Studio, on the Debug menu, click Stop Debugging. For more info, see the how-to documentation written especially with Android developers in mind. Thanks for watching.